The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the March 2nd, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, well, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much more important than that, that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in, 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And, of course, in our Tigers did well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Less Show. A bit of a mixed bag out here. The Dow's up 28. The S&P back 6. NASDAQ's off 95, Russell down 24, semis off 53, Tranny's up 15, Composite off 102, New York Stock Exchange up 21, Wilshire off 117, Spot Volatilics trading below its 50-day exponential moving average is trading at 2304, you've got gold up 11 bucks, you've got the U.S. dollar index down a tad. You've got uh, silver up nine cents, lights we crude up 19 pennies, natural gas uh, looks like it's found its way again. It's up six cents, trading out at 284. And the 30 year treasury up eight ticks, trading out at 16031. Lead the charge dollar wise to the upside, AutoZone, 24 bucks, 2%. Hove, Hove Danian Enterprises, 22 bucks, 36%. Square, 14 bucks, 6%. GameStop, oh, forget about that. Rocket Companies, uh, a little rocket up 35% or eight bucks and change. Mercado Luribe down 79 bucks, four and a half percent. Shopify 36, two and three quarters percent. Novavax down 15% or 37 bucks. So certainly there are things to look at, but I want to look at what you want to look at. And uh, we don't have any re requests. Actually, have, there's a request that came in late yesterday for um, Great Panther Silver and uh, McEwen Mining, I believe. So we'll take a look at those. But first, let's go take a look at the market, see what's transpired today. So if we take a look at that, we'll begin by looking at the 30-minute time frame for the ES Mini, because it really paints the picture, and that's this. And this is a subscriber's new this morning when the newsletter went out, that it looked like uh, by 9.30, we were going to see a TD9 count top. Just simply the pattern that was unfolding inside the ES Mini. And in fact, the other instruments that uh, needed uh, to form a TD9 count top needed price to move higher. Let's just stick with the ES Mini out here. Here's the bar following bar number nine. That took place at 930. That high never was closed above. Valid TD9 count top. Where does price move back to? The TD9 breakout level. Now, folks, we're looking at candles. On a candle, you've got the body of the candle. That's truly the essence of price. That tells you where you're open and close. Whether it's green or red just tells you the open and close. If you're closing lower than the open, it's a red body candle. It's a green body candle if you're closing higher than where you've opened. That's all that is. They're, they're neither bullish or bearish. They could be bullish or bearish, but the color candle doesn't mean that they're either bullish or bearish out there. Okay, first thing. Uh, second thing, the wicks. The lower upper shadows, that's just the extreme, extreme emotion during that time period out there. It truly is about the body of the candle. Not that we can't use the wicks to help us understand what buyers or sellers are thinking, at least during that session out here. But here's what we know. 38.75.25, based on the body of a candle, is a real key level of support. If you were to see a close below that, that would be suggesting a move to 38.45. 
Those are not the conditions right now. The conditions suggest that at 1.11 in the afternoon, the ES Mini wants to make a run for its high from about 10 o'clock this morning. That is in the price range of 3903. No idea whether price gets over that. And if it does, it'll go out after the highs from three o'clock yesterday afternoon in the 3912 level. Price is above its profile for the 30 minute time frame. So you're above resistance as I want to move higher. Price is above a green oscillator and change line. That's a bullish condition. And it is those two reasons that you and we saw that the spot volatility was below its 50 day exponential moving average. So therefore, that gives us the reason to say, hey, price is going to go ahead and target that high at about the uh, 3903 area out there. And that's in the ES mini. And that's what's going on. We, here, if we take a look at our 30-minute time frame chart, stay with the equity future contracts, but just use trend lines, it looks like this. So here are four 30-minute time frame charts. Your ES is in the upper left. Your NQ is in the upper right. Your Dow is in the lower left. Your Russell 2000, lower right. Now what you can see is prices trading in between descending and rising trend lines there. So you've got your resistance. Those are the yellow lines. You've got your support. Those are the green lines. So relatively quiet market. There's nothing uh, in the chart patterns as we speak right now that suggests that this is going to be anything but just a quiet market today. But let's see. You know, I don't control what happens next, but we can clearly see the resistance levels established in all four 30-minute time frame charts, as well as the support areas, and those referenced by those trend lines. So that's really what's going on inside of the market. There are some other things just to give us a feel for the overall market out there. And what I mean by that, again, the spot volatility index right now trading below the 50-day exponential moving average. That is printing at 2388. The spot volatility index is printing at 23 bucks. If the spot volatility index remains below the 50-day exponential moving average, the S&P will move sideways to higher. That's just the deal. I know you're saying, but Steve-O, the ES Mini is down five bucks right now. I know. Just wait. Just well, we already really covered that. When we took a look at the 30-minute time frame chart. In other words, on a 30-minute chart, now is not the time to be short. Price is going to go tag those highs. It may take out the uh, early morning high out there. That I don't know. But if the conditions remain, conditions being the spot volatility below its 50-day exponential moving average, that's bullish, not bearish. And it's really important. You can do this at home. Show this periodically. This chart here, the S&P up top, down below, the uh, spot volatility index, and you can take a look at the time periods where price is above or below that and see what generally happens to the market. A really great tool because you don't need to be a technician. If you have a charting application, odds favor that uh, you can do this uh, same uh, setup right here as we speak. On a uh, larger scale, larger scale being uh, daily, we were taking a look at intraday time frames for the equity future contracts. The only thing really to report here is that the NQ did in fact make that profile that we looked at yesterday. I don't think anything changed on it. It still remains bullish in nature. And that suggests to you and I that the NQ wants to run up to 13 409 formula 409 this is steve rhodes with tfnn we get back from this break we're going to go take a look at uh, great panther gpl and i think it's McEwen mining mux m-u-x steve rhodes with tfnn we'll be right back Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by Bam! as well as whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. 
If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, one of our dinners, uh, John, and so in the, in the Tiger's Den, we talked about uh, 13409 is a likely target for the NQ. That's the top of its daily profile. The reason it's a likely target is because price is well above the center of that bullish structured profile. So buyers should be able to push price up there. John was mentioning that the uh, from the high to the low, the high I'm referring to is February 16th, down to Friday's low. Uh, if you take a look at uh, the Fibonacci retracement series, in the uh, 13, 425 area is the 0.618 retracement. So you got 13, 425, 13409, and then you have 13417. 13417 is the oscillator and change line. Now, as price moves up, that'll change, move up a little bit as well. So that's your cluster of resistance area for the uh, NQ on moves higher. Now, if price takes out all three of those levels out there, that tells you about a strong market and a move all the way back to 13759. Now, let's go take a look at a couple of those requests that came in late yesterday. The first one was for Great Panther. Great Panther right now traded out at 94 cents and in between a very wide bullish structure daily profile. When I mean wide, we're talking from 82 cents to a buck 16. Now, in change in your pocket, that might not seem like a lot, but that's a wide ranging market profile. You've got a brand new weekly profile that formed as well. So you've got support on the daily at 82, support on the weekly now at 79. The monthly support would actually be 65. There's your cluster of support on any move lower. Price is sitting right now at its daily point of control, the fair value, the center of the box. Price needs to close well above 94 cents. Now, how much on a buck 16? I don't, let's call it, if it can close at a buck, then it should be able, just like we looked at in the NQ, should be able to make a run for a buck sixteen. Of course, if we go take a look at McEwen Mining, Great Panther out here, we really do need to get our, because I don't recall what the request was, just the instruments uh, for yesterday. But if the question is, uh, you know, is now the time to buy these equities out here, then we really want, mining equities that is, what we really need to also do then is to take a look at what's going on in the case of gold and silver. More so gold than silver, but certainly both. And if we take a look at Goldilocks right now, here's what we're going to see. A couple of different things. And this is likely what the outcome is. The upper left-hand panel chart is the daily time frame. 
Now, what I've put in here is a small A to B equals CD to the downside. That gives you a price projection of 17, 17, 20. As we speak right now, we have a bullish engulfing candle. I don't know what the candle will look like at day's end. If we get a bullish engulfing candle, odds favor that price should at least go target. Well, one of the targets would be the bottom of the profile, 1768. I would venture to say more like 1788. Counter trend moves will find resistance, and it certainly can find resistance at the bottom. But gold tends to overshoot. Remember a little conversation with Brent yesterday in California and how gold overshoots the upside and the downside. So I'd say more likely if we get that bullish reversal signal today, a move to 1768. Is that the bottom? Well, on the weekly chart, the longer term time frame chart, that's not the signal. That signal says we want lower price or it wants lower price at this stage of the game. Now, let me see if I can. Well, I know I can uh, Let me do this here. If you give me just a moment just to switch workspaces, I think I already have this open, do I? Ah, uh, Steve-O. What are you thinking, Steve-O? You don't have it open. That's okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. Where will I do it? Right here, Precious Metal Charts. Okay, this will just take a moment to populate. I think it'll take a moment. I'm hoping it takes a moment. Um, it better just take a moment. Moment gone. So what was I going to? Okay. So on the daily time frame chart, so you've got 1768. You also happen to have the oscillator and change line, which is red in color at 1762 right now. So here we're getting into our cluster of resistance. So you've got 1760, say just we're going to call it the 1768 level as to where a bounce is likely, but got that center of the profile, but likely to find some resistance on any move higher. Uh, so it would just be the A to B equals CD pattern. Well, if that's the case here, that gold's going to move higher, we need to see, or it would be best to see, that the U.S. dollar index is going to move lower. So when we switch over to our U.S. dollar index chart out here, what we can see in the upper left-hand panel is that price has made its way or made its way all the way back to the top of the daily profile, the 91.45 area, rejected that. Now price is below the center, the fair value of its bearish structured profile. I'll just go on a limb here. If the U.S. dollar index closes in the vicinity that it's at right now, which is below the center of that profile, well, sellers should go ahead and try to push price, the U.S. dollar, that is, down to 90.27. Maybe a tad lower, but there is really a consolidation that is in play out here. You can see the consolidation. I'll go ahead and draw that in for you. We'll put in a little rectangle. So the high of the consolidation, well, that's easy peasy stuff. We'll just make that at about right there. And the low of the consolidation is really about right here. So there's your consolidating pattern inside of the U.S. dollar. Until the consolidation is broken, if you are trading the mining stocks, then treat them as just simply a trade. We don't have the signal. We do not have the signal that this is a intermediate term type of trade inside of gold. If you were going to get that, you really need to see the U.S. dollar index on its weekly basis get below 89.51 out there. Or that would be ideal from a correlation standpoint, assuming that that correlation continues to exist. So back to McEwen Mining, back to uh, Great Panther. So in the case of Great Panther, uh, where were we here? Right here. In the case of Great Panther, well, let me get back to the tab. If you were long on Great Panther, as this gets up to buck 16, should it get up to a buck 16? or wherever it gets you, you've got to keep one eye on the U.S. dollar index and one eye on your mining charts out there and be willing to go ahead and just take these as a trade. The bigger and larger opportunity will come when we get the signal from the weekly, weekly or the monthly time frame out there, and there's nothing to suggest that that signal is in place as we speak. Let's go take a look at McEwen Mining. MUX is the uh, ticker symbol out here. Uh, this is trading above its daily profile, within its weekly profiles, within its monthly profiles. So your resistance areas, support is between 97 cents, and a buck four. Resistance is at a buck 39. The resistance, a buck 39, buck 40. Buck 39 is top of the weekly, buck 40 is the top of the monthly profile. Let's pull over McEwen Mining's other chart, see what its health is. Um, and it is trading below its oscillator and change line. 
There's nothing else really out here. In order for McEwen Mining to really get a run, it's got to close above a buck 18 or so. The buck 18 is the oscillator and change line out here. Um, I like Great Panther better than McEwen Mining, I suppose, because of that bullish structured profile out there. But neither of these are ripe for a long-term trade. At least that's as of 126 in the afternoon on March the 2nd. So whoever did write in for that, thanks for waiting two days if you did get a chance to listen to today's show. So checking, uh, checking, there we go, checking the emails. Tom G. writes in. Tom writes in and says, hey, Steve, would you uh, take my question as soon as we get back from the break? And seriously, that's what he wrote here. What he, an intuitive individual. And the answer to that question is absolutely. We've got the Dow up 24, the S&P down 6. We'll be back. back. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once-in-a-generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar, silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money back guarantee for new subscribers as well as tfnn's tiger den trading room trading software and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. That Dow's up 39. S&P is off uh, 4. Let's go right to Tom's question. Tom wants to take a look at uh, two positions. He is long TZA and a long UVXY. So in CZA, that's the inverse uh, for the Russell 2000. So he's expecting the Russell 2000 to move lower. So let's go ahead and pull over the Russell 2000 charts out here. 
and take a look at it. Now, Tom is primarily a intraday type trader out here. So let's start by taking a look at the 30 minute time frame chart for Tom. Let's go ahead and get this thing populated. So this topped out here. Let me get my cross here. It was a TD9 count top and a Rhodes Mintum indicator top that formed at 630 last evening. And folks, these are patterns that I teach. Yeah, not just here during the show, but uh, you, you can get access to uh, these exact signals, how they're formed. You can uh, put it on your charts as well. And uh, just to sign up for Mastery Probability and test drive it for, for 30 days or less out there, and boom, you've got it. Now, price is pulled back to a support level, Tom. You break through one support area, which was 22.68.40, uh, then you typically go to the next level. And that's exactly what took place this morning. So the Russell 2000, much like the ES Mini, but the ES Mini only got back to its first breakout area. The Russell 2000 got back to its second breakout area. If you're short the TZA, Tom, and you're in your 30-minute time frame chart, if you see a close above 22.51, 2251 is the oscillator and change line. It is red right now. See how this went from green to red? Here's where your real signal comes from. If this is a test and rejection, meaning price doesn't close above the 2251 level, then that says intraday wise, go ahead and stay with the trade. In fact, it would say that price will go back and revisit 2237 or should go back and revisit that level. What happens if price closes above the 2251 area? Well, Tom, what you should expect is to move to 2261. Maybe it's 2268. Maybe it's even beyond that. But that's what you should expect. Here's the key thing for you to know is that 2237.30 is a key level of support that has been tested and has held. If I go down to an even shorter time frame out here on a 15 minute, what signals do we have, if any? I don't have anything there to assist us. 10 minute time frame chart, what do we have? I don't have anything here other than 22.52 is a key resistance level. So we've got our little cluster out there. Um, as far as longer term, in case Tom has changed his thinking, he's thinking more longer term out here. On the daily time frame, you have a Rhodes Mintum indicator top, but price is just consolidating with inside its daily profile. Not that it can't shoot beyond either of those, but uh, it's just in a consolidation pattern right now, the Russell 2000, just a consolidation. To the weak side, Tom, if, you're, if, if that's what you're, where your focus is at, because the Russell has held up the best. Now, let me do this. It's easier to compare when I say the best so you don't have to trust me. Not that you can't trust me because you can trust me. I guarantee you I have your back. I guarantee you that. But with regard to the Russell 2000 and it being stronger than the other two, let your eyes show that to you. If we take a look at the weak indices out here, so to the extent that you want to go short, the weak indice is the NQ. And the NQ can lift all boats higher. Likewise, it can go ahead and sink all the boats out there. Uh, the Russell 2000, which is where you're at, really, the, the Russell 2000 and the Dow right now are the two two of the strongest indices from a profile standpoint, from the retracement standpoint. And the ES Mini is really not that far off from either of these two out here. It's only the NQ that has been the weak one. So my suggestion would be uh, that if you're looking to go short, that it would be the NQ where you'd want to play in the in that game versus the Russell 2000. But that's just Stevie's thinking out here. If we take a look at the UVXY, and this is like playing with dynamite, but this, in essence, is assuming that the spot volatilex is going to move higher out here. And uh, this, this is the daily time frame chart. Do I have a signal to suggest that that's a possibility? Yes, it has a TD nine count bottom. But if price were to close below 824, it negates that bottom. You're at 839 right now. Um, 15 minute time frame out here. I don't have anything to assist you. 30 minute time frame. I don't have really anything to assist us there either in that call. I go back to, I guess, Tom, to, to answer your question there. And you're, you're good at trading these. I know that. Uh, but there's others listening in here. Maybe they're considering the same trades. I would be more interested in a UVXY trade if, in fact, the spot volatility index could close above its 50-day exponential moving average. It's not that far away. That's a 22.90, 23.88. Price is at 22.98. So it's about 90 cents away as we speak right now. Because price yesterday, which had the opportunity truly yesterday 
to have held that 50 day. Um, and it didn't even with that rally, you know, and then we got an initiation signal move yesterday in that spot volatility index. Today seems like more of just after using all that energy yesterday, just seems like a, hey, a little bit of a breather. And that breather, when we took a look at the uh, short term time frames trading between descending and rising trend lines, in essence, that was its message as well. The message that came out of the S&P 500 and the spot volatility index yesterday was an initiation move to higher price. And with the ES Mini trading above the top of its profile and the spot politics below the bottom are the it's 50 day, everything is really lined up for the ES Mini to continue higher. Now, is it going to take out those highs? Can't say that. Um, why can't I say it? I, I, I can't say that. I don't I don't know. Sorry about that, folks. Um, but so, Tom, so, you know, if, if the S&P 500 is going to go higher, all right, which we'd look at the we would look at the Russell 2000 trade totally separate from the UVXY because we'd be more interested in understanding what's going on in the ES mini out there. Mm, I yeah, I don't I don't see it right now. I, I think you're I think you're fighting upstream. Not that it can't work out, but just with regard to the signals, what we're looking at, you're fighting upstream on uh, that one. Uh, let's go take a look at. A, here's a question that came in. It's from Dan F. And Dan says, terrific Tuesday show question. I love it. Looking for an entry in NIO. NIO is the ticker symbol. So let's get this populated on my charts out here. Let's get to our three time frame charts. Uh, NIO. And you're looking for an entry point. It looks like today, today, today's bars, the day following bar number nine. Okay, let's go take a look at and see what we have. Here's what we know right now about Neo Inc. It's trading below. So there's a brand new. Now when I say brand new. It's not brand spanking new. It formed three days ago. So that was on uh, Friday. See how good I am with math? It could have even been Thursday. It could have been four days ago. But it was a bullish structured profile out there, Dano. And right now, price is trading below the bottom of that bullish structured profile. That's 45.76. So not a great thing. We'll take a look at the other charts. We'll take a look at the TD9 counts out there and, and assess what you should do. But you're looking for an entry point out here. And so we'll discuss that. The price is below the bottom of a bullish structured weekly profile. This would be week number two. This is really suggesting that uh, NEO wants lower price. At least that's what the weekly says. And on a monthly time frame, that lower price could be 3140. You're trading at 4401. Okay, so that's what the profile charts tell us. Let's go take a look at Stevie's white background charts. And I see we're about to go to hard break. Let's start with the daily time frame. And then the daily time frame, as we populate it, we're going to see that, that, no, even though there is no valid TD9 count and price is trading below its breakout level, Dan, 45.72, you don't have the signal to enter a long trade inside the NEO. In fact, this could be headed down to 2603. We'll continue taking a look at this when we get back from break. We'll be Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are you grinding in market but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader simply looking to make his job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter the path of least resistance is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. 
Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Folks, uh, we're gonna we'll go back to Neo in a, a moment. Uh, you know, earlier I said I've got your back, and I meant that, and that's why I've got these charts up on our screen. We were talking. Uh, Tom was asking about uh, TZA, UVXY, and uh, so I've got my short-term time frame charts out here. And uh, look at the top portion. Those are the ten-minute time frames. You can see here. You'll see the ES Mini has got a TD9 count top. The NQ has got a TD9 count top. The YM has got a TD9 count top. The Russell 2000 doesn't top. Sorry, I know you wanted to see that there. But it, so there is a short-term top that could be forming right now at 140, uh, with price pulling back to those oscillator and change line areas: 31514 in the YM, 13171 in the NQ, 3891 inside of the ES Mini. Those are areas that you want to watch uh, because if price tests and rejects it. Then they move. Then it, that's a suggestion of moving higher. If price uh, gets below it, that suggests possibly even like the ES Mini pulling back to the 3880. So the ES Mini trade or chart out here is going to be the one that should have some impact on your UVXY. Again, we're in today's a narrow trading range out here, so the 10-minute charts may prove to be helpful to you. And then we'll get back to Neo. Uh, the reason we're going to get back to Neo is because we've got a caller on the line. So let's go out to Gary in Michigan. Gary, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Hey, Steve. Great to talk to you. How you doing? Doing very well. Thank you. And New Skin, uh, I know that's one of your holdings, uh, NUS, the ticker symbol. Why don't you tell the folks what you're doing and how we can help you? Yeah, I just, uh, I'm a testimony to the products. I, uh, uh, at 66, I had to offload a 28-foot U-Haul, uh, 85% all by myself in, in, the, in the Sunday morning. So, uh, uh, Sunday afternoon. So I, I uh, love the products. They had a pullback after the earnings, even though they had ex beat expectations because of some article about margin, you know, reducing margin, but they're also reducing how we get paid out. So more people get paid so okay. at the top. And uh, so whatever. I'm a believer. I'm, I want to buy more, but I want to know when to buy more. Uh, and I wanted your opinion because I Okay, so, uh, boy, that didn't take hold. Why did not take hold there? New skin. So, new skin, if we take a look at what it did. So, you can see last week or two weeks ago, just horrible. Um, you know, big move went down from the uh, 63 level, uh, in essence, all the way down to the 46 area. So, that's a pretty big hit. What it was doing when it got down on the 23rd, so last week, the trading day, December 23rd, it did volume of 931,000 shares, and it was comparing that and testing a swing point. This is the daily time frame from November 9th that had a million shares. So that's how you like to see a bottom of a swing point tested and then rejected. And so that's a positive. Now, what it did yesterday, New Skin, 
after it had done that positive test was it got right up to resistance. In fact, it closed just slightly above resistance, which is 52.41. That's the top of the daily profile. Right now, you're at 52.17. So, Gary, if price closes below 52.41 today, it signals to you and I that yesterday's close above it was a false breakout. And that would suggest that one area that price could pull back to would be 49.14, the bottom of the daily profile. Now, the bottom of this profile also happens to be the center. So that should be a strong support area. So that would be an area to consider adding to a position out there. Now, um, all you have to suggest that that's the case is the test and rejection of that swing point from the trading day of November 9th. And if you're adding to a position, you've got a core position, you're just trying to maybe trade and add to it. If I saw a close below 46.65, or at least two consecutive closes below that swing point, that's suggesting then lower price. And I would probably go ahead and, oh, the chart's not shown? Son of a gun. Sorry about that, folks. See, I was being Mr. Smarty Pants and showing you one of my other screens out there. And then I didn't realize that that's what I had done. And now you can't even see the chart. Here is the chart for new skin. So everybody that listened to that blathering, um, it, it, well, here is the chart. And now you can see, uh, thank you, Jimmy, uh, for that, Mr. Bill. Uh, now you can see where price is struggling at the top of that daily profile. So that's, that's what we see from the daily profile. Any questions there so far? We'll, we'll continue on, but any questions there? Uh, Gary? No, that's good. That 52 was 41 because I'm driving, so I'm just listening right now. Yeah, 52, 41 is, is the top of that uh, yeah. daily profile. Now, if price closes above that today, then your next area of resistance is 52.85. That's the weekly profile, which price did close below a couple of weeks ago. And so you really want to see price get above that. But you are asking, hey, where, where could you enter? Right now, ideally, price will pull back in that 49.14 area, and that's what you would be looking at. Now, will it pull back? I don't know. You may have a better feel for that come the end of today's trading session. Now that we take a look at my white background chart, I know that you're driving. If price is going to pull back, you need to see a close below 51.64. And so if you don't see that, because that's the oscillator and change line, which was tested and rejected yesterday, tested and rejected, meaning price is above that level. And so a close above 52.41 would say, OK, I'm ready to move higher. It turns out that the same day that the swing point was forming four or five days ago, six days ago, and was testing that swing point from in November, it generated rose momentum indicator pattern. You had a nice big old key reversal and bullish engulfing candle. So that was actually your, your signal for an entry into this. And, of course, at that stage, we would not have known, and we still don't know, whether price is going to really be able to clear the top of that daily profile or not. That would have been your target, but that was your, your entry. So on a daily basis, you're getting the signals that you need. On a 30-minute chart out here, then, see if there's anything that helps us. Not a ton Necessarily, I mean, we can see the top was a TD nine count top price pulled back to fifty one thirty seven, and so I'd say that fifty one thirty seven area would be an area to consider. Uh, you'd like to see as price is moving back, kind of light volume as move. That's the breakout level, Gary. So we're going to answer your question this way: your entry points around fifty one thirty seven to forty nine fourteen. That would be the range that I would be looking at as we speak right now. That could change at the end of the day with a close above 52.41. A close above 52.41 says, eh, maybe I'm not going to go further back. Does that help? Yeah, it helps. And it also kicks me in the ass to, to uh, actually go through. I've been a subscriber, you know, for over a year now for you. I love your yeah. service. I just need to go through your, your webinars because they're great. Uh, but I need to really understand it better because I, I suspected – I, I just didn't know. I should have called in uh, at I, that point when it hit that low point because that I thought was a, a buying opportunity, but I didn't know. You know. Sure, sure. Well, scared. you can certainly use. Uh, you know, the the very first thing that I learned here at, at TFNM, which is from Tom. That was where I got my my start into technical analysis. Uh, was the testing of swing points on lighter volume or on more volume out there, and so you got that test. You don't have to be. You don't have to be a technologist to, to see that one. And that's that's a very good test. It's nice for you and I that what was also taking place at that time was a roads momentum indicator signal. So uh, I hope that helps you out. Keep your eyes on the road, which I'm sure you are. Yeah. And uh, is there anything else that I can do for you, Gary? Hey, I'm ADD, so I can do it all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I love it. I love it. You bet. <laughs> hey, be safe out there, well. and we'll look forward to speaking to you again. That was Gary in uh, uh, Michigan out there. And, uh, you know, Florida, 
Folks, it is Michigan's Lower Peninsula. In fact, right now, I think it's everybody's Lower Peninsula. The traffic down here, now I live in Delray Beach, maybe you're not familiar with it. Great area, a fabulous area. We've got a uh, avenue called Atlantic Avenue. It's like being in South Beach. As populated this weekend as ever before. There is no COVID down here in Florida. Come on down. See you approach with TFN. Look great. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. We're going to close out the show, I believe, by taking a look at PayPal. At least this is one of the instruments we're going to do here. PYPL is the uh, ticker symbol. Right now, trading above the top of a brand new bearish structure daily profile. So if you're long PayPal, what you're looking for today is a close above the top of that profile level, and that is at 272.68. Now, you're 272.91 as we speak right now, so we don't know if price will close above it. But if it does today and it does tomorrow, Two consecutive closes above resistance. Well, that says price should go back and run for those highs in 308 level. Price is also above the top of the weekly profile. This is a brand new weekly profile. 267 is the print there. Uh, so that is a, a positive. Let's pull over Stevie's white background charts for PayPal. See if there's anything else out here on the daily time frame. Let's populate this. Its resistance level is 284.10. 
a close above 280.14, that's the oscillator and change line. A close above 280.14, that will be the signal that it wants to go ahead and run for those highs. Uh, weekly time frame, the weekly time frame does have a road swing indicator top, but see how price is back above its oscillator and change line. Uh, that is a positive for it. So, yeah, it looks like uh, PayPal wants to continue to run higher, but, and the must is, need to really see a close above the top of that daily profile today and tomorrow, and that's at 272.68. So I hope that helps you out. That was for SNP inside the Tiger's Den. I believe that was that's who it was for. Yeah, no, my pleasure. So to end the show, what are we going to uh, do? Let's just go back, take a look at those trend line charts out here. And uh, I think this is what we have in store for us for the day. Not a lot. Not a lot. Just a sideways movement in between descending trend lines and rising trend lines out there with those rising trend lines inside the ES and the YM um, having been hit or about to be hit over the course of the next uh, you know, half hour or so. Hey, folks, stay tuned for two more great hours. And don't forget, Basil's got a great workshop tonight. You can get in, uh, and you should get in to his workshop. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks. I look forward to seeing you on Wonderful Wednesday. Thank you.